Hello, 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 hi. How are you doing, by the way? Hmm? You know, people are not asking that enough nowadays. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Please let me know in the comments down below. What's going on? What's difficult? What wins did you get? So, I'm doing good. If you're new to this channel, my name is Wendy. And welcome and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Uh, okay, today I washed my hair. As you can see, I still have the bantu knots from the shower. I washed it, I conditioned it, and I've uh, uh, I decided it's been a while since I straightened my hair. Why? I decided to straighten my hair is because I am feeling lazy. I don't feel like doing the twists. But I was like, since it's been a while since I straightened my hair, I said, why don't I take advantage and film something for you guys? All right, so let's do this. Um. My mirror is right here, so if you see me, you know, that's me looking at the mirror and looking at what I'm doing before I lie to you guys. Um, this is it. This is, oh, it's grown. It's grown. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, hey. One of those things that I don't regret is going natural. Like, I, like if you have if you have patience it's just so nice like you get to wear your hair the way it comes out of your head as in that is just whoever thought huh? See, I'm just like wake up and be like <laughs> my hair <laughs> it's one of the good things and if I can do it you can do it too so okay this is washed and I have leave-in conditioner in it and that's it and then the next thing I'm going to put in it is heat protectant. So I'm just going to show you the tools and the products that you're going to need for this part. It's not a lot, I promise. <laughs> so these are the main things that I'm going to be using. Some I'm testing, some I just love because I've used it before. Um, the first thing I used is this leave-in conditioner and this is going to be a test it's a bit heavy if you want to stretch your hair but I just want to test and see usually I'd use like a very light almost like li super liquidy close to water consistency leave-in conditioner so that it's not heavy and doesn't weigh down your hair so this is as I am leave-in conditioner. Hey, you can see the price over there. And my hair is crashing all the products all the time. Uh, it's expensive, yo. Um, yeah, and then after that, the next thing I'm gonna do is use this heat protectant. I got this from just like a local store. Now, the thing that I don't know is, is this for Wazungu hair or, you know, does it work for uh, my hair let's see I've tried it before actually this is not the first time and my hair went back to its normal uh, curliness so this is it if you're in Europe you can try this Krautfart <laughs> Dutch people don't diss me in the comments Krautfart Krautfart heat protector and then once we straighten the hair we're going to shine it shine it kidogo with this uh, 2.1 oh, sorry 2 in 1 hair polisher this can be used completely at the end or somewhere in the middle just to, uh, I don't know I love who remembers this who remembers Salsa E guy guy this reminds me of Shule as in when you had to do your braids and nini, as in then it gives you that nice tingly feeling hey, you want to get too fresh when you chuck from the hair you just Fresh from the hairdresser. And my mom used to take me to Jerry, Jericho, to get my hair done. And then she finds those braids of like this. They are fancy. Jaivi, I love to know. I like this. I love to know. I love to I love to know. I love to know. I love to know. I love to know. I love to I to Hey, this is 
six euros, six hundred for this thing. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. So those are my products. The tools I'm gonna be using dun, 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 is this Revlon brush. Okay. See how careful the last time I used it. This brush is the best thing for lazy naturals. Like bite, bite. If you wanna braid your hair, you wanna straighten your hair, you want to just, when you wanna straighten your hair, this is what you use. So before braiding, you straighten with this. It is so fast and I don't, it's, it's, it doesn't damage your hair. I've used it several times. My curl pattern is the same. E, yokiboko yao. This is it, man. I'm so serious. If you can find it in Amazon or you know what, check the link down below. I will link it so you can order it from Amazon. I know Amazon orders to Kenya, right? And if you're not in Kenya, if you're in Europe, then it's super easy for you to get this. Get this. Kwanza for your kids. The thing that I'm not sure whether I'm gonna use or not is this flat iron. This is Remington's. I'll put the I'll put I'll put the model uh, down below in the description. I love this because um, if you just use the Revlon, your hair is straight, but it's not like bone straight. And if you wanna enjoy that kind of like very silky straight kind of look, like not super super bone silky straight, but at least it's you know straight enough. I love using this, especially when I have to do a trim because. I usually see immediately after I've straightened with this, I can see those frizzy ends, those kind of dead ends that I need to trim out. So I use this. So those are the tools and products that I'm going to be using to straighten this hair. Guy, Yani, in that, how many minutes? I just spoke, my hair just shrunk from here to here. Shrinkage! As in, look. Wow. Let's do this. So these are the settings it has. Let's see here. And focus. Zero. Cold. Warm. And hot. Um, I don't think the hot is very hot, but it's that's that's the one I use. That's the one I use. Twenty. Twenty nini. That's the one I use. So let's. Let's start this. I'm going to start with a warm. So just to be safe, I start with a warm and you know just feel it. Feel how it works with your hair. And then afterwards you can go to the hot. But the warm will take forever. I don't think it was a good idea to put the leave-in conditioner <laughs> but yeah it feels a little bit like heavy with product so I advise to use a lighter leave-in conditioner have you seen how fast that thing straightens your hair have you seen eh? Yeah, the only thing left is this to end. They're, they still stay a little bit um, curly. That's why I like to use the flat iron after this. But, I mean, see that's stretched. That's stretched. That's stretched hair. Let's do the other side. Alright. Step one. Heat protectant. Smells weird, but yeah, it smells it smells like a spirit or something. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was weird. So, wow, guys. So smooth it in, make sure it's like in there. And then get into every strand. Yes, just like that. So you remember your ends need extra care. These are the shoshos of your hair, this one at the end. Ah, shit. All right, now let's do it. First, I'll just put this in a two strand twist just to get it out of the way. Look at that. Why is it so exciting to see hair straightened? I don't know. I, don't know. I guess because you get to a certain length and then you never really, you, you never see growth because it just like just shrinks back. So. Sometimes to see that length and you're like, oh, I've been doing work. It's been working. It's working. All the work that I've been doing is working. Second part done. Look. What is this length called? Brass strap length. Or what, what is it? Yeah, so my hair is on brass strap length. It's been for like that for a while because I I kind of <laughs> don't dye your hair. Let me just tell you something. Don't dye your hair. Not even black. Just leave your hair with whatever color you have. And so with time I've been trimming all those colored hair, like see, colored parts so I have a little bit left so my hair's been stuck on the same length so I hope to finish very soon and then we start a journey to waist length <laughs> some goals sometimes feel a bit far off but it's possible I never thought I was gonna have my natural hair like this when I started I always thought I was gonna have a teeny weeny afro for the rest of my life because it won't grow but here we are see here we are so you can do it too, yeah? And these are part, this this video is just for one of those days where you feel like, ah, I, I kind of want to enjoy my hair. I want to stretch it out. That one time of the year, I can stretch it out. You see, no pen there. All right, uh, twist this into, uh, yeah, give it a little twist just to keep it out of the way. And then I'll do the other two, these ones, and then we'll be back for the next step. And we are done, all stretched out with the first one that I started right here, I just opened it up. I decided to flat iron it, not like, um, I decided to flat iron it, not thorough flat ironing, but just to straighten it up a little bit because this, leave-in that i used is quite heavy it is quite heavy so just for it to last i'm gonna just hope that it lasts a week i don't want it to go any further than that uh we're gonna flat iron all right so let's pin these two away so they don't get caught up in the war the flat iron as i mentioned was remingtons and a good thing why i chose this one was because you can change the temperature like right here you can change the temperature yeah and then as you can see it starts with 190. i think the highest is 230. i used around 220 because i'm not crazy not crazy i'm not trying to fry my hair after all these years of trying to grow it i'm not trying to fry my hair okay can you start with this a tiny little bit over here oh wait i need one thing the one thing i forgot is this brush so my usual denman brush or even if you have a, 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 a oh no not a loose tooth comb what are they called like a rat tail comb 
done in the tiny little spaces, done that you're not supposed to use to comb your hair, that one. Use that or this Denman brush. So what we're going to do is you put the brush here and then the flat iron will come here. So as you're pulling the brush away, the flat iron follows. And this helps with uh, kind of just treating, straightening out any knots that could be there that could just be flat ironed as a knot instead of straightening the hair. Get my gist? So, so. Now let me show you in action. Um, I'm afraid that I'll burn myself. Guy, uh, guy. Ah, it's because the brush is wet. God, I was a bit stressed. I was a bit stressed. So, you see how I just and the hair feels lighter. Try to get your roots also so that they don't tangle so much and you hold your hair hey, in science no no my fingers over there they're holding the hair and they're holding the brush and they're holding and then you put your hair shika shika we'll get the roots to shika shika and then Tired <laughs> If you need excitement in your life, just try. Oh, just try to flat iron yourself. That's what happens. Oh, hey, casualties. Eesh. Okay, that's enough. Do not take your flat iron through your hair more than twice. More than it's not necessary. If you really want to keep your curls. Or not to mess up your color pattern don't do what i'm doing all right so that's the first little section now we're gonna do another one with the second section kanono kidogo it's a nice healthy one all right same technique like the second last bit the second last subsection that sounds like a constitution subsection of my hair because it's already in four sections <laughs> concentration with a knife wow okay done that's the first section um as you can see yeah it's just straightened here nice huh i'm happy so i'm gonna do the other parts and then yeah, the other parts and then i'll be right back 
and all done all straightened look at that look at that <laughs> i love this feeling once in a while you just want to just run your hands through your hair so now i just did like a quick flat iron nothing you know not a, not those many many passes you know just to straighten it just so that i can be able to do some styles okay so it's popping it's popping i'm loving it so now i'm gonna go into the four styles that i would do when my hair is like this mm -hmm. 